Today we're going to prepare spiked dulce de leche, which translates to cajeta envinada. To prepare this recipe, you can use whole milk, but for best results, it's better to use goat milk. Pour the milk into a small saucepan along with one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of cornstarch, half a cup of sugar, and one stick of cinnamon. Using a whisk, mix the ingredients until everything is well combined and bring to a simmer over medium-high heat. Once it reaches a light boil, turn the burner down to low. Preparing cajeta can be a little time-consuming because the cooking process can take a little bit over an hour. During the process, you want to stir frequently so it doesn't spill and it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. This part is very important because if it does stick, you're going to have little white blobs in your cajeta and the cajeta will not have that smooth consistency that we want. Which is why it's very important that you don't walk away from it for too long. And if you do need to, turn it down to very low heat or turn it off completely. I had to transfer mine to the stovetop so I can control the heat setting better. I went between a 2 and a 3 back and forth. Once it began to rise, I had to lower the heat setting to keep it from spilling over. After about 20 to 30 minutes, you're going to notice the milk is going to start to turn a light beige color. That is perfectly normal. When the cajeta is done, it's going to have a rich tan color. After about 45 minutes, remove the cinnamon stick. And if it does happen to fall apart like mine did, use a small strainer to remove any little bits of cinnamon. Continue stirring for an additional 15 to 20 minutes or until it has a richer consistency. Once it reaches this point, we're going to add in the last ingredient. This last ingredient is completely optional. I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of brandy. Once you add in the brandy or rum, continue stirring for an additional 10 minutes or until it reaches a thicker consistency. A great indication to know it's ready is when you stir, you can slightly see the bottom of the pan. Once it reaches this point, we're going to turn off the burner and we're going to allow it to cool down completely before we transfer it to a jar. The longer you boil the cajeta, the thicker the consistency will be. Just keep in mind that once the cajeta cools down, it does tend to thicken up a bit. With the amount of ingredients we used, it gave us one and a half cups of cajeta. Use it to prepare desserts, enjoy it on your toast, or just enjoy it on a delicious bolillo with your cafecito. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it useful. And if you did, leave me a little heart. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.